Carlos here from Everything Tech and today I'm bringing you uh, something that I bought for my personal um, security which is an IP network camera. This IP network camera is um, um, by Cloud IP and um, it's one of those clones that you that you get from the Foxcam. I think the Foxcam is the original but much more expensive. So I thought I would unbox this for you in the first video, in the part one of the first video. And then in the second part of the video, I will uh, explain how to set up um, the camera um, initially with cable and then uh, afterwards in, uh, wirelessly uh, with Wi-Fi. Um, so first, I'll just show you around the box. And um, as you can see, it's an IP network camera. Um, it's, it supports its MJPEG recording. It's got a CMOS sensor, wireless AP, motion detection, pan and tilt, two-way audio, night vision. I can use it on a mobile as well. And then it's uh, 802.11b, G and N, and WPA and WPA2. Supports FTP mail alarm and remote AVI record. So, uh, as you can see, this is just around the box. As you can see, it on either on PC, on tablet, or on phone. And around the box, that's it. So let's just open it, and I will uh, show you what comes in the box. So it's quite well packaged, actually. Um, I'm surprised. This is a Chinese product, obviously. Um, uh, quality is not going to be the uh, most uh, prominent feature, uh, if I say so. Um, so basically, first what you get in the box is the L-series driver and manual. And then, we'll leave that for last, you'll get a Cat5 um, LAN cable. Quite a nice one as well, with a lock mechanism. So that's quite cool. Uh, and then you get, um, I live in the UK, so I get a 3-pin power adapter. Uh, I don't know how long this power adapter will be, but um, I can quickly check and let you know right now. So this would be about, yeah, about a meter and a half power adapter. Um, just put that aside there. And then you get the support, so this support is the, the support you use for attaching it to the wall. So you attach it to the wall in there, and then in here goes to where the camera is. So it's got, I'll just open it up. You also get here uh, two bushes and two screws to attach it to the wall. And just December 2013, so that, that's quite a new camera actually. Um, and then on this side is the actual culprit, the camera itself. These cameras are quite big, as you can see. Uh, I'll just take it out. And there you are. So this is the camera. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 LEDs. So th these are quite good for night vision. And obviously the more LEDs you have, the better the, the image is going to be, or the clearer the image is going to be. Uh, so I'll just show you, as you can see it's a clone one, it hasn't got anything, um, any label on there. Uh, at the back, one of the things that I've thought that I would get is a detachable um, antenna, but that's not the case. This is a built-in antenna. You can move it from side to side, but it's not detachable. Uh, so you've got an audio out port. And then you've got a LAN port, a reset switch, uh, the antenna itself, and that's where you plug in the charger. Um, and that's really it. Here you can adjust um, the focus of the actual camera. So as you can see down here, it just has like a reset, reset written on it. And I'm covering this because obviously this is um, my security passwords and, and logins. Uh, so this is the... Um, Part number three zero nine eight five and or I don't know what that means. So part number is the cam zero seven five eight. So that's it. So now I'm going to on the second part of this video I'm going to go and plug this um, to my router and then I'm going to configure it and I'm going to record my screen so you guys can see how to configure this um, 
like I explained to you at the beginning of this video. So I hope you like this one. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.